Well, welcome to the couple made video on how to install a marine seal. Now you'll see your marine seal has uh, two lips um, inside the seal and uh, these uh, should be greased. The most common problem is they are not. The seal fits snugly onto the axle, a bit of a shrink fit. It doesn't spin on the axle. The, um, the hub spins around the seal. Now I've greased one up and, and they make a, a big difference. The grease uh, helps lubricate the metal ring that uh, sits behind the bearing. Not only does it help lubricate the metal ring and reduce heat, it also helps prevent the water getting in the back because it's got to get back, it's got to get through the grease. Uh, I'm just going to put this on and lock up the hub. Um, so while I'm doing that, I'll just explain. At the back there, you've got 15 mil between the back of the shoulder and the back of the bearing. So in this space, this is where this seal sits. Uh, some of the electric axles you can't use this seal on because uh, when hot this seal can go back, it pushes into the shoulder. If you've got an electric turn, there's no shoulder to push into, the seal will let all the grease out the back. So I'm just uh, tightening up here just to make it nice and tight. So you can see this um, spins fairly freely if it's greased up. If it's not greased up, you're going to find it tight. It's going to generate heat. A good chance it's going to overcook the bearings, melt the grease. There's just a bit of a look at the back there. Uh, don't forget to clean up the excess grease there. Don't overfill your cavity. 